Hi everybody, we want to welcome back Carrie Williams from Rainbow Fleet today who's here helping us raise Oklahoma and you are actually keeping us up to date on some safe sleep requirements. I know they're changing for child care providers. They are. And Rainbow Fleet offers some training for that, I understand. We do. Okay. Um, what, well, what's going on here? How are the requirements changing? Well, first of all, a lot of the requirements that are changing are just changing for homes because they've already been in place in centers okay. for quite some time. Okay. So a designated sleep space that is pre-approved by DHS that's now required required for homes in addition to centers. Um, nothing in the crib, no toys, no blankets, um, no passies. Bibs. Uh, passies are okay. Okay. Um, in fact, those are actually recommended <laughs> by saying, the American Academy of Oh my of gosh, Pediatrics. don't take the passy away. <laughs> don't take the passy away. It actually um, kind of helps initiate that startle reflex that keeps children from falling too deeply into a sleep and can help oh. prevent SIDS. So uh, pacifiers okay. are good. Okay. Uh, the wearable blankets, um, which we've shown on the yep. show before, um, these are great for sleep. Those are allowed. Sleep sacks or whatever, mm -hmm. that's what I always call yeah, them. Yeah, <laughs> sleep sacks. Uh, no swaddling after three months of age. Really? That's right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And they say you can swaddle if you leave their arms Do it real free. Loose. Okay. Uh huh. So they can you can swaddle it still around their waist, but as long as their arms are free. Okay. So if they were to roll over, they would have some form of defense. How are my children alive? I don't I'm know. My mom asked the same question. <laughs> she had five children and she said, I don't know how I kept you all alive. These these are all new to me. So why are these changes so important? Well, you know, it helps uh, prevent SIDS mm -hmm. and you know, 20 years ago, we didn't know what caused SIDS. We just called it SIDS. And they, they say now that about 95% of the time uh, that that safe or that death could have been preventable with yeah. some safe sleep practices. Oh, so this is definitely something we all need to be yeah, aware of. Absolutely. How are you guys helping with the, the requirements for the providers? Well, and a new a new law that went into effect actually in June, but has taken emergency um, effect in November is mm -hmm. that all child care providers who are licensed who have any interactions with infants are required now to have safe sleep training. And you guys offer that? We do offer it. Um, we offer it at Rainbow Fleet. Right now we're offering it very often because um, there are just in our service delivery area alone 1,200 child care providers. And a lot of those are centers that have multiple employees. Mm -hmm. And every employee who has interaction with infants and in centers often um, it's every employee. Mm -hmm. um, so they all have to be trained. It's a two hour training. Um, so we're doing our best to kind of keep up. We're going out to centers and doing on site training. We're also having trainings at our offices oh. a couple of times a month. Wow, you guys are really busy. Yeah. Okay, I have a quick question. You said nothing in the crib. What about those things that you like hang on the side for the kids to play with? Like the mobile or, yeah. or the thing or the, on the side? Like the fish thing that go. Yeah, no. Oh, <gasps> no, are you kidding? I'm sorry. Oh. Wow. Um, okay. I'm glad I'm done having kids. Well, and another thing you might... Um, <laughs> Those are important. Yeah. And the American Academy of Pediatrics also with their new um, their new recommendations suggest room sharing for a year. Oh, okay. So um, not in the same bed with the parents, uh -huh. but in a crib in the same room for a year. Really? Yeah. Okay. This is all new. I know. Shocking. I know. Okay. We'll, we'll have to talk more about this in sessions to come. Sessions, yes. Um, thank you so much, Carrie. You're and if you need any help when it comes to child care and parenting, Rainbow Fleet is there to help. Their number right there in OKC. I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot of questions right now. 405-525-3111. They are back every other week with more expert advice for parents who are raising Oklahoma. They also have a number for those who speak Spanish. That one is 525-8783. And we'll head over.